This is the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas in New Orleans, Louisiana. Located along the Mississippi River, walkable distance from the French Quarter, is the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas, which is consistently voted one of the top five aquariums in the U.S. In this video, we'll provide directions, ticket info, what to see, parking, and tips from our own experience. Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the New Orleans, Louisiana Travel Guide series. This episode is the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas Travel Guide. The Audubon Aquarium of the Americas is located in downtown New Orleans where Canal Street meets the Mississippi River. It is located at one Canal Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. If you're driving, please be aware that parking is paid by meter or parking lot or parking garage. The closest garages are near the Canal Place Mall, which offers a discount of $2.50, but requires a validation at guest services at the aquarium. If you want to take a public bus, then take uh, New Orleans RTA's route 5, 10, 16, or 55 bus lines and exit at Canal Street. Other bus routes have stops on Canal Street within walking distance to the aquarium. Please check on the Norda website for detailed information. We parked at the premium parking garage at Canal Place, which is located at 333 Canal Street. We paid through the premium parking app since we already had it loaded for parking in other parts of the city. This was the closest parking garage to the aquarium. There's also an open air parking lot adjacent to Canal Place. If you're close to a streetcar stop, you can get to the Audubon Aquarium by the RTA's Riverfront Streetcar Line or the Canal Street Streetcar Line. There's a discount of $2.50 if you park at the premium parking garages at Canal Place or at the um, Hilton Whale Wall lot located at 728 Convention Center Boulevard. FYI, in order to get the discount, you have to get it, your parking ticket validated um, at the guest services in the aquarium. And, you know, from our own experience, it's a lot of back and forth, and I'm not sure it's worth the extra effort and time for $2.50 off. If you want to avoid parking and driving altogether, consider taking a taxi, Uber, or Lyft, which are easily um, available in New Orleans. You can purchase tickets when you arrive, but to avoid long lines, we recommend purchasing time tickets online to ensure you get the day and time you want to visit without all the wait. Adult ticket prices are $29.95 plus tax per adult. Children ages 2 to 12 are $24.95 plus ta uh, sales tax. And seniors 65 and older are $24.95 plus tax. Here's a money saving tip. We found a multi-attraction uh, package which saved us about 50% on all the attractions we visited uh, in New Orleans. So you might want to look into one. The Audubon Aquarium of the Americas is open Thursday through Monday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The last entry is at 4 p.m. The Audubon Aquarium focuses on the underwater world from the Caribbean, Amazon forest, and the Mississippi River and the Gulf of Mexico. The aquarium includes 3,600 animals from more than 250 species, including endangered species such as the African penguins and white alligators. We began our self-guided tour from the main aquarium entrance on the first floor. As we entered, we saw the gift shop to the right, restrooms to the left, and hanging marine mammals from the ceiling. There are also notices for feeding times for stingrays and penguins. We walked through the Great Mile Reef on the left side first. There is a 4,200 square foot tank, which represents a submerged Maya city of the Yucatan Peninsula. We also really like the 30 foot tunnel tank with creatures swimming to and fro. And also we saw lots of lionfish, yellow tail snapper, moray eels, spiny lobsters, and replicas of sunken Mayan artifacts. From there, we walked to the Amazon rainforest section. 
We took the escalator to the second floor. For your information, there's also an elevator. This area is designed like the treetops of the Amazon rainforest. We saw lots of free-flying birds, free-flying birds like colorful parrots among the trees and bushes. We also saw lots of different species of fish like piranhas, paku fish, and freshwater stingrays living in a waterfall uh, pool. We also visited the new shark discovery. It's a 13,000 gallon shark tank. There's also a stingray touch pool. From the Amazon area, we walked to the area where the seahorses were. I could have watched them all day. Hey, did you know that only male seahorses and sea dragons give birth? From there, we went to go see the otters. There are two rescued southern sea otters, Claire and Ruby. They're in a custom-made habitat, which has a 25,000 gallon tank, and they have a two large uh, view swimming pools where you can see them underwater. They were really having a good time, and they were fun to watch. From here, we continue to walk to the Mississippi area, which explores the waters of the Great Mississippi River. Here we were treated to a view of the white alligator. They have this uh, translucent white skin and beautiful deep blue eyes. In the Mississippi River area, we saw um, many inhabitants like the freshwater uh, catfish, sturgeon, paddlefish, and of course alligators. After completing our visit to this area, we moved to the Gulf of Mexico area downstairs. In the Gulf of Mexico is where you will find the largest tank in the aquarium. As we continued in this area, we walked to the 400,000 gallon tank of man-made salt water which is filled with sharks, schools of fish, stingrays, and sea turtles, including King Midas, an endangered green sea turtle. We took a seat on the floor and just watched these beautiful sea creatures uh, float on by. After a bit of rest though, we walked to be mesmerized further by the jellyfish, which were floating in rainbow colors, and then walked over to the African penguins. This attraction will take you two or more hours depending on your interest. You can combine the Audubon Aquarium with the Butterfly Garden and Insectarium and the French Quarter or any number of attractions near the downtown area. By the way, the Audubon um, is going to at some point uh, include the Audubon Butterfly Garden and Insectarium into the aquarium. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.